This three foot high, very penguin like bird used to live all around the North Atlantic Ocean. But the great auk had some liabilities. It was slow, it wasn't that afraid of people, and it was good to eat. By 1844, there were apparently only two left a male and a female living on a rock off of Iceland. They too met the same fate. Collectors found them, strangled them, they sold them to an apothecary. He skinned them, preserved their internal organs. The two of them ended up in the collection of a Prussian aristocrat. Eventually, these two last great auks found themselves in another large collection in England. Years later, a young woman was studying the great auk, trying to figure out what factors contributed to their demise. She became fascinated by the question of where were these two last great auks and decided to use molecular biology to find out. She narrowed it down to five museums that she thought were most likely to have these two ox. In 2017, she discovered the location of the male. It was in Belgium, but she hadn't found the female. Now she knows where it is. The Cincinnati Museum of Natural History and Science turned out to have the long sought last female great auk. It's a sad story, of course, but these specimens, the last known individuals, one word for them is an endling. They can often be powerful ways to communicate the history of a species, especially the history of a species that humans wiped out.